Okay guys, I hope that made sense. Uh, so if you've got any questions, just pop them down into the chat box. We go through them, if, if there's anybody that's got any questions. Okay, here we go. I can't seem to wrap on my head round the Lumerian filtration rate. I know the definition, but I still don't get it. Okay, Lumerian filtration rate. Let me get a different diagram up. I think that might help. Lumerian filtration rate is basically a measure of kidney function. It describes the flow rate of filtered fluid through kidney. So if you're looking at, it's the basic amount of fluid that flows through tightly com compressed glomerulus into the Bowman's capsule and is measured in milliliters per minute or sometimes milliliters per minute over body surface area. So the average is around, they say, 125 milliliters per minute, but it range from anywhere from around 100 to 130. And it's, it's important to understand that uh, it's a very important measure of uh, what they call you know, chronic kidney disease. This is what they want to parameters that they look at. So if you look at you know, the stages of chronic kidney disease as it slowly loses its function. Let me just grab the stages. Yeah, here we go. Stages. You've know, got five stages of chronic kidney disease. Uh, stage one is very important to look at. You know, you've got stage one, it says a normal glomerular filtration rate and they mentioned above 90 milliliters per minute where it's seeing pretty much normal function of a glomerular filtration rate but there's other signs, other tests that are showing there might be some sort of kidney damage. As you'll see, as you go down the stages of uh, current kidney disease, as, in, as it slowly progresses and gets worse, you realise slowly the glomerular filtration rate drops to 60, well, I mean to uh, 125, slowly all the way down to about 15 millilitres per minute. At that stage, the kidneys are pretty much shot, they've lost all their function. So it's a measure, a very important measure they use to check kidney function. So that's important of glomerular filtration rate. So it's again a measure of kidney function and it describes the flow rate of filtered fluid through the kidney. And again, you're averaging around 125 milliliters per minute, but then again, it can be anywhere between 100 and 130 ish per minute. I hope that helps. What's the difference between that and filtration fraction? Filtration fraction is related to glomerular filtration rate. Filtration fraction is a ratio. It's a ratio of glomerular filtration rate over renal plasma flow. So therefore, you know, it represents the proportion of uh, fluid reaching the kidney that passes into the renal tubules. So we're talking about approximately 20-25% ballpark. The way to imagine it is that you think that think that the kidneys, in order for, for them to function properly, they need a nice stable flow always just to maintain maintain that glomerular filtration rate. It needs a nice constant flow. If anything changes that flow, if anything changes that flow, the filtration fraction must change to maintain that normal flow and glomerular filtration rate. So for example, if the blood flow to the kidneys was disturbed and say it was reduced, for example, I don't know, it gets something like uh, renal artery stenosis or something. Blood flow to the kidneys is reduced. So therefore the filtration fraction must increase to maintain that same level. And there's different ways to change the filtration fraction. You know, for example, if uh, a patient's taking like loop diuretics, obviously that has decreased the filtration fraction. So the filtration fraction is just a ratio of a glomerular filtration rate over the renal plasma flow and again it represents portion of fluid that actually reaches the renal tubules based on the amount of renal plasma flow that goes into the kidneys. Again you're talking about normally the sick quarter but this is a little bit less about 20-20% ballpark. I hope that helps. I think that's it there. Thank you.